Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Terrain Factory. This is the number 15 of a series of video tutorials where I show you how I make terrain pieces and other elements for your tabletop slash RPG games. In this video I'm going to make a nice stone tower with a lower level and an upper level, a balcony and a nice rocky cliff base to stand on. To make this we're going to use a couple of cardboard tubes that I got from paper towel and toilet paper, some different types of styrofoam, I'm using high density styrofoam to make the bricks, and the classic styrofoam for the base, and then some cardboard for the roof. Let's get to it! The first thing we're going to do is work on our balcony slash floor for the upper level. So after cutting a circle from a piece of cardboard, glue some bricks on both sides of it, in a pattern that you like. You don't need to cover the whole thing, because the center of it, on both sides, is not going to be visible. For reference, the bricks I'm using are 1 cm in length, half a cm width and a couple of millimeters high. After that, cut a strip of cardboard and glue it around it to make the railing. Now we can begin working on the tower itself starting with some decoration to make it more interesting and nice to the eye. To make them you can follow me if you like the one I made, otherwise you can just make whatever you like to decorate it. Once they're glued in place, we can begin covering the whole tower with bricks. I like to add around the middle of the tower another layer of decorations so that it doesn't look too uniform. After that, we can make our doors and windows. I'm using XPF foam for those because it's easier to cut, especially for the windows. Cut some holes in the tower for them and glue them in place. Now for the roof we need 8 pieces. 4 larger triangles for the bigger sides and 4 smaller triangles for the corner pieces. 
After taping them to keep them in shape, we can use hot glue to glue them together. And then cover everything with shingles. To make them, I used a thin piece of cardboard, dividing it by the size of the shingle, and cut the corners of every one of them. To glue the shingles on the smaller sides, I find it easier to first glue them together on a guide and then glue them on the proof. Next, we can paint the tower. After priming everything black, apply a base coat of light grey to the stone. You can use an air dryer to speed the drying process. As usual, to make the stonework visually more interesting, we can paint some of the bricks with different colored washes. Next, cover everything with a black wash, dabbing it here and there to make it less uniform. Followed by the last step, which is dry brushing everything with the same light grey we used as our base coat. For the roof, we just need a couple of steps, the first one being painting everything with the color of choice, and the second one lightly painting vertically with a lighter shade of the color. After that, the tower is done and we can start working on the base. To make it, first we need to cut and glue the styrofoam to make a base structure. Next, after marking where the tower is going to be, carve a path for the stairs. To make those, again I'm using XPF foam because it's easier to cut, we just need to take a piece of foam, cut it diagonally and then cut the single steps. Put them in place and then adjust the path you carved around them. Next, let's try to make this piece of foam more like a cliff. So, first let's cut all the sharp edges, and second, score all the vertical sides, removing some of the foam. Next, we can use some of the bigger chunks we cut to place them around the base and the stairs. To protect the foam from the paint and to add some texture, prepare a mix of flour, PVA glue, some grainy materials like dirt and water and cover the base with it. While still wet, place the tower where it belongs and then to add more texture we can sprinkle some dirt all around and put some pebbles here and there. Once dried, we can paint it basically the same way we painted the tower. A light base coat, a black wash and then dry brush. Just remember to put some brown paint before the wash on the flat parts of the base to make them look more ground-like.
Lastly, we can add some grass using PVA glue and then sprinkling our grass on top of it. To help keep it in place, once the glue has dried, spray it with isopropyl alcohol and diluted PVA glue. Add a few more bushes here and there. And the build is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you for coming to my channel. See you in the next one and remember, keep playing with your maps.